I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a collection, create a collection cover, add a tag to the collection, and then add products into that collection using product tags, okay? So first thing we're going to do is create a collection. Now, what you'll do, just click on products, then click on collections, and then you're going to click on create collection. In this example, I'm going to create a collection called Best Sellers, okay? And the product tag I'm going to use for this particular collection is the word best, okay? So what the product tag does is it tells Shopify that any product that has that word best, that tag attached to it, that it should go into this collection. This is going to save you a lot of time manually trying to add products into your store. And this is where a lot of people get confused, okay? So I've simply just created the tag best to go in the best sell to go with the best sellers collection. You can name or use whatever tag you want, but I always try to keep my tags short and sweet. And I always like the tag to relate somehow to the title name so it keeps it clear in my head about what title or what tag matches the collection, okay? The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add an image. And this image is going to be what I see on my page. So a lot of people don't understand that either. Like, how do I get those nice little covers on my, my actual website? So for example, right now if you look at this here's a collection right you see how these nice covers are here but um there's nothing and people don't understand like oh how 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 do i get um a cover on my collection um instead of just like a picture of the products so bef before i show you this um so now let me just go ahead and refresh the page <clears throat> Actually, let me say this first, and then let me go here and refresh the page. Um, it takes a little bit sometimes for Shopify to catch up. All right, so now that should be saved. And if I refresh the website, now that cover is there for the best sellers collection, okay? So now that we have our collection created, we have the tag in our collection. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your products. So just click on all products. And now let's say I want all of these dresses to be inside of the best sellers collection. There's two different ways to add tags to a product. You could do it individually or you can do it as a bulk add. Okay. so. If you do it individually, let's say you just come into the product, right? And you come down here to tags and you type the word best, okay? And now the word best is now tagged to this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna go to my website and now I'm gonna click on best sellers. Now you see that this dress is is now part of this best sellers collection, okay? Now, let's go back over to products and let's see how we can do this on a larger scale because imagine having to do this if you had 100 products that you wanted to put into the best sellers list. That's a, quite a bit to have to go through, right? So what you can do is click on select all by, by clicking that top button there. Or let's say you only wanted maybe four of the dresses on here. So maybe you want it like, um, since I already know this one's here, let's say I wanted to do these. So I can go through and click all of these and say, okay, these are the ones I want in this uh, uh, collection. Then you click on more actions and then you click on add tags. Now, because I already um, created that best tag, you can just click on the word best here. If you don't see the tag that you want, you can add it, but here it is, right? And then I'm gonna click on save. 
okay all right now let me refresh and here you go all of those products are now in my best sellers collection and it was just that simple so that is how you um, add tags to products now on the reverse side if you need to go in and edit your collections you can individually go in and take out the tags which i don't feel like is efficient i like to work from the main products page by let's say i wanted to take these three dresses off of the best sellers collection and or out of that collection go into more actions so just select them go into into more a, uh more actions and then click on remove tags and i'm going to remove the existing tag best and i'm going to save it now when i go back to my website and i refresh the page let me give it a second to do its thing now the best sellers now those there's only three dresses remaining in the best sellers category okay so that is how you can add tags to your products how you can remove the tags from the products both individually and as a bulk action i hope that you have found this helpful and that it will um, help you organize your store catch y'all later bye